What better way to end this Dave's Defects series than with a brief introduction to what may be the number one cause of waste delay in customer complaints, that is, wrinkling and other flatness issues. It is a subject that I could talk on for hours, such as I do in my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 students just like you. It is a subject that I have written about scores of times and one that is well covered in the literature. For these reasons, this will only be a brief sampling of what you learn in my class. So let's get started. Wrinkling and flatness issues may well be the number one cause of waste delay and customer complaints in our web industries. I get calls on this nearly every week, and it is the most common troubleshooting assignment I am given, even more so than winding. These calls include most web material types and include most web machines. If I ask these callers, what type of wrinkles do they have? They would come up with some very unhelpful language, such as hard wrinkles, soft wrinkles, bagginess, puckers, lightning, stripes, and so on and on and on. This creative language is not at all helpful. We need a definition that will work for all wrinkle types, all webs, and all web machines. So here we will define wrinkling as any time where the web is not perfectly dead flat, such as an inspection table or a pane of glass. Of course, no one has webs that flat. But that strict definition avoids the very first barrier to troubleshooting, and that is seeing. Here, if you know what to look for, you can see wrinkles far earlier than anyone would complain about. We call that level of severity a troubleshooter wrinkle. A QA wrinkle, on the other hand, is when the severity is so bad that someone complains. We want to get ahead of the problem by seeing the risk before someone complains. So here, we will begin by using a simple and practical roller-oriented language. This is simple because all you have to do is to find where the web is not perfectly dead flat. This is practical because the roller may be the cause, or if not the cause, will turn risk into complaint, such as often happens with bagginess. So the troubleshooter will often do their inspection work upstream of the roller in the open span, while QA will often draw the line as they bulge crossing the roller. That bulge or bump on the roller is usually rejectable for most webs. As we learned in our Web 101 class, we absolutely must get the wrinkle diagnosis correct because a wrinkle is not a wrinkle is not a wrinkle. Wrinkling, or lack of flatness, is first broken up into six major cases, as shown in this slide, then into subcases or root causes, as seen in the next slides. Anyone can determine a major class, at a glance, by appearance alone. If you need more guidance, you can access the free and easy Wrinkle Troubleshooter by Abbott App. In our Web 101 class, the first, and in some ways the easiest major case, is the machine direction wrinkle. You know you have this major type 
because the wrinkle is oriented pretty close to the machine direction. In our Web 101 class, we learned how to measure severity with our eyes, merely by counting wrinkles crossing a target roller, and how to use that measurement to do experiments and trials on our system. We also learned in Web 101 that all subcases are connected by a common mechanics. In the major case of the machine direction wrinkle, all subcases involve the web somehow wanting to be wider than it currently is. Then we learned in our class how to easily find subcase or root cause as people sometimes call it. Each root cause has a corresponding cure. We also learned in our class that one other tool beside correctly identifying that specific subcase and reducing that specific root cause is to apply effective spreading. We spend almost two hours on the subject of spreading in our class. Then we moved on to the more common diagonal shear wrinkle. It is easy to recognize this major type because the trough, bulge, crease, fold over, wrinkle, or whatever you call it, is at an angle. We learned how to measure severity by the angle of the wrinkle. We also discussed subcases or root causes for the diagonal shear wrinkle. In all subcases, the root cause is something. Either the web or web machine is crooked. It is the job of the troubleshooter to know exactly what specific crookedness is causing a specific problem by several lines of reasoning. We identify the specific crookedness because fixing the specific crookedness that caused that specific wrinkle will usually work much better than, for example, applying spreaders. One very common specific root cause of diagonal wrinkles is simple in-plane roller misalignment. We spend a lot of time discussing why that wrinkle happens and how close roller alignment needs to be. This guidance is useful for designers, maintenance, and troubleshooters alike. This specific in-plane roller misalignment wrinkle subtype has been well studied for more than 25 years. It is so well known that we even have an app to calculate allowable roller misalignment. This is so easy that even a machine operator can use it to help determine whether their machine's design and maintenance is good enough in that one specific regard to run thin webs. In Web 101, we then move on to baggy webs. I have given you more than 25 successful case histories of troubleshooting baggy webs on this All Web Handling channel of YouTube. I urge you to view every single one of them if you are ever called upon to work on this most challenging problem. Finally, in Web 101, we teach how to audit for wrinkles by starting upstream where there are hopefully fewer wrinkles to sort out and then moving downstream. Every wrinkle type and every wrinkle initiation location needs to have a separate diagnostic because, as I've said, a wrinkle is not a wrinkle is not a wrinkle. So, 
Perhaps 99% of all wrinkles or web flatness problems are one of the 20 or so root causes listed here. If you need a reminder in the field, Stephen Abbott and I have given you a free and easy app that will guide you through the diagnostics, which will then lead you to the correct remedy list for your specific wrinkle type. Wrinkling and spreading are by far the best documented of the web handling interest areas. There are 300 articles, columns, conference papers, PhD thesis, etc. on these subjects. If you want a condensed version, we have chapters in the must-have books. First, the ultimate role in web defect troubleshooting guide. And second, the 750-page Web Handling Handbook. While some enjoy learning by reading, there are faster and more efficient ways to learn about the must-know topics of wrinkling and spreading. I spend one half day on these must-know topics in my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 students. The time invested in formal training will save you much time and much trouble and much money in your plant and with your customers. Thank you so very much for joining me in this Defect Solving and Defect Preventing series. If you have a defect you would like to hear about, please let me know in the comment section below. If you found anything interesting or useful here, please like and share and subscribe. Also, please consider supporting the work of this channel using the Patreon link below. See you next time!